So this first uh, podcast for equilibrium is just an introduction to the concept of equilibrium. A chemical equilibrium is when the rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction and the constant, uh, concentration of the products and reactants remains unchanged. So on the screen you see an example of what an equilibrium reaction looks like. Notice the two arrows there in the center that indicates it's a reversible reaction and that's a chemical reaction in which the products uh, can react to reform the reactants. Um, so this particular reaction would be an equilibrium reaction. Up to this point we have written uh, just single-headed arrows indicating the reaction goes in the forward direction. Now for equilibrium reactions we write what is called an equilibrium expression. So on the screen there's a generic reaction. The lowercase letters indicate coefficients. The uppercase letters indicate substances. The equilibrium constant, K, is equal to the products over the reactants with all of them raised to the power of their coefficients. And notice that there's brackets around all of the uppercase letter letters in the expression. This indicates that the values within the expression are in moles per liter. Now, K then is called the equilibrium constant, and it is constant for a particular reaction at a particular temperature. So the concentrations can change within the expression, but the overall um, mathematical value of K it stays constant at a particular temperature, and it is a, treated as a unitless value. Now, when we look at a K, what does the K tell us? If the K is really large, and we think of large as anything greater than one, that signifies the reaction is going in the direction of the products, as pictured here in the diagram. When equilibrium is achieved then, most of the reactant has been converted to product. Okay, so we say this is a product favored reaction. The opposite then would be a reactant favored equilibrium. Those would be small values for K. Anything less than one would be considered small. And that indicates the reaction is favoring the reactant direction. So remember these reactions go both directions, forward and reverse. When an equilibrium is achieved in a reactant favored equilibrium, very little reactant has been converted to product. So you have mostly reactants left in the react reaction mixture. Now to write an equilibrium expression for an actual equation, this one is the nitrogen dioxide decomposition, we do just as we did with the generic reaction, we take the two reactants, so the NO and the O2, the NO has a coefficient of 2 in the balanced equation, so that becomes the exponent on the NO in the equilibrium expression. The O2 has a coefficient of 1, so we just raise that to the first power. And then on the bottom we have the products, that would be the NO2. And since the coefficient in front of NO2 is a 2 in the balanced equation, we raise that NO2 on the bottom uh, to the second power. Now, <clears throat> the equilibrium expression, um, if we uh, flip the reaction, so here's our original, Mathematically, we can manipulate the reaction, we can manipulate the K. If we were to take this reaction and simply make the reactants the products and the products reactants, mathematically then, the K, the new K, simply becomes the reciprocal of the old K. So again, it really is important the way you write the reaction because that is then reflected in the K. So if we flip the reaction, we then would take the reciprocal of the equilibrium constant. Now, when the balanced equation for a reaction is multiplied by a factor, whatever that factor is, the equilibrium expression for the new reaction is raised to that factor power. Um, this is why we've taught students to always balance equations in lowest terms, because in equilibrium, those coefficients really do make a difference. So if this is our balanced equation again and there's our K expression. So again products over reactants all raised to uh, the power of their coefficients. If we suddenly divide all of the coefficients by 2 or 
multiply all of the coefficients by one half, which is the same thing, we end up with an, a reaction that looks like this. And then that means we would take our original k and we would take it to that factor power. So we would take it to the one half power. So if we had taken the original equation and we had doubled every coefficient, then we would take the k and the new k would be our original k raised to the second power. So again, this clearly illustrates that writing you know, balanced equations in lowest whole number terms is really essential in uh, dealing with equilibrium. So this was an introduction, and in um, the podcast coming up then, we're going to actually introduce numbers into the equilibrium expression.